of PNP Internal Affairs Service is conducting a fact-finding investigation on active policemen named by retired SPO3 Arthur Lascañas at yesterday's Senate hearing. Lea Ilagan will tell us why. The PNP Internal Affairs Service Deputy Inspector General Police Director Leo Angelo Lotero says they are now validating the information divulged by retired SPO3 Arthur Lascañas during the Senate hearing yesterday. Lotero, however, notes that the ES can still classify the statements of the self-confessed DDS member as intelligence information. This uh, information have not been processed through an intelligence cycle. So these are just pieces of information, di pa siya intelligence. The police unit has no copy yet of Lascañas' affidavit or the documents containing his statements. Leoterio says what they have now are the unsigned and photocopy of the said documents. The action of Internal Affairs Service can only be to validate such information. We'll do our own uh, analysis and fact-finding of uh, the things that uh, he has said in relation with uh, the police personnel involved who, who remain to be in the active service. Among the policemen initially named by Las Cañas are Police Senior Superintendent Romel Mitra, Chief of the Directorial Staff of Pro3, the Deputy City Director of Davao City Police Office and SPO1 Jim Tan. The self-confessed DDS member also named Vicente Danao, Chief Directorial Staff of the CIDG and even PNP Chief Police Director General Ronald Bato de la Rosa, whom he claimed as among those who joined their operation and ordered to kill. De la Rosa, meanwhile, refuses to comment on Las Cañas accusations. Uh, ordinary police na yan siya, don't ordinary police. No comment pa. Hintayin ko lang sa sinado, may papatawag ako. It can be recalled that Las Cañas made a complete turnaround when he retracted initial statements about his participation in the so-called Davao Death Squad or DDS, which was allegedly led by then-Mayor and now President Rodrigo Duterte. Leia Ilagan, UNTV News and Rescue, Camp Krame.